My parents were pastors and they liked to just go from church to church and just like spreading the word of God and stuff like that. So we moved around a lot because of that. When I moved to South Dakota, um, something that my mom wanted me to do to kind of have a hobby and get into the community a little bit was she took me to unicycling classes at the YMCA. So every Tuesday, me and my sister went to unicycling classes in the gym. I got to like a level two unicyclist, which was like a big deal to me because that meant I could ride on a straight line without falling over, so that was fun. The reason unicycling interests me so much was because my dad, before he had met my mom and then after he had met my mom, they were like professional clowns together for the longest time. Um, and they were part of like a puppetry group, um, so he rode unicycles. So my whole life as like a little kid, I really wanted to learn how to ride unicycles. So I was actually really proud of the fact that I <laughs> could do that. I was like, hey dad, I can ride a unicycle. <laughs> I've always been into just like outdoors and I got into rock climbing. The schools in, in my community made a league and so we were part of a rock climbing league. There's different difficulties for um, different routes and it starts with a V and then a number. So like V1 is like a ladder. And then V16 would be like just the tiniest little holds everywhere. Um, so it's the difficulty and if you can complete it, um, then you get the points for that route. And then your points for your whole team is added up and you're trying to compete with all the other team's points. You had to train and you had to put the time and effort in to get the strength to you know, complete those moves. And then once you do, it's something you can be really, really proud of. And, and then you can look back on the journey of how you got there. That's the way I looked at it. <laughs>